Rahul and Arun are working on an assignment. Rahul takes six hours to type 32 pages on a computer, while Arun takes five hours to type 40 pages. How much time will they take working together on two different computers to type an assignment of 110 pages? Well, we cannot assume the total work done here as one. Why? Because the work done is given to you. The work done by Rahul is 32 pages and the work done by Arun is 40 pages. So it is given that Rahul takes six hours to type those 32 pages. So work done by Rahul or the pages typed by Rahul in one hour will be equal to 32 by six. Similarly, the total work done by Arun in one hour will be equal to his work done upon the number of hours taken. So 40 by 5 and that's equals to 8. Now we can also solve this. This one 2 times 16 is 32 and 2 times 3 is 6. So this is 16 by 3. So we have the work done by Rahul in one hour and the work done by Arun in one hour. So we can calculate the work done by both of them working together in one hour and that will be the addition of these two terms. So work done by both of them in one hour is equal to 16 by 3 plus 8 and that is going to give you 40 by 3. So the basic meaning of this statement that is work done by both of them in one hour which is 40 by 3 is that they can type both working together 40 by 3 pages in one hour. So how much time will they take when they type 110 pages? So we have pages and time. So the pages when the time is one hour is 40 by three. So what will be the time? Let it be X when they type 110 pages. This is directly proportional. So we can equate these ratios. So we have 40 by 330 is equals to one by X. These cancel out. Therefore, X is equals to 33 by 4 and now we can divide 33 by 4. Well, let's do it 33 by 4. 4 eights are 32. So this is basically 8 1 by 4. So 8 1 by 4 hours. So 8 hours and 1 by 4 hours and 1 by 4 hours is 15 minutes. So 8 hours 15 minutes is the correct answer. P can complete a work in 12 days working 8 hours a day. Q can complete the same work in 8 days working 10 hours a day. If both P and Q work together working 8 hours per day, in how many days can they complete the work? Well, let us first calculate the total number of hours that P and Q require to complete their respective work. So P completes work in hours will be equal to 12 days working 8 hours per day. So 12 times 8. 12 times 8 and that is equals to 96 hours. In the same way, the total time taken by Q to complete its work will be 8 days working 10 hours per day. Now we can calculate how much of their work they complete in 1 hour. So P's work in 1 hour will be equal to 1 upon 96. And Q's work in one hour will be equal to one upon 80. Now, if they both work together, the total work they do in one hour will be equal to the addition of these two terms. And that will be one by 96 plus one by 80. And if you solve this, you'll get 11 by 480. So if both work together for one hour, the amount of work done is 11 by 480. To fully complete the work, the total time taken by both working together will be just the reciprocal of this term. So total time is equals to 480 by 11 hours. Now this is in hours. What we want is in how many days can they complete the work working eight hours per day. So the total number of hours is this we want how many days would be if they work for eight hours per day. So what we want to do is just divide this term by eight to get the days, right? So this is basically equals to, if you solve this, you'll get 60 by 11 by reducing the terms 
and that's going to be 5 5 by 11 so the answer is option a a and b can do work in 12 days b and c in 15 days c and a in 20 days if a b and c work together they will complete the work in how many days now what we have to do is to calculate the work done in one day so in one day a and b can do 1 by 12 fraction of the work let me write it in one day a plus b is going to be the work done by both a and b is going to be 1 by 12 b plus c is going to be 1 by 15 and c plus a is going to be 1 by 20 right now what we want is the total work done by a b and c in one day well let us add all of these terms first what you get on the right hand side is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20 on the left hand side what you get is twice of a plus b plus c isn't that true yes that is so this is twice the work done by a b and c in one hour and that's gonna be one by five on the left hand side i have twice of a plus b plus c and therefore a plus b plus c is going to give us one by ten so in how many they'll do the complete works and that comes out to be the reciprocal of the work the fraction of the work done and that's going to be 10 days right so our answer is option c a can do a piece of work in four hours b and c together can do it in three hours while a and c together can do it in two hours how long will b alone take to do it well let us calculate all the work done in one hour by each one of these so a can do the piece of work in four hours so in one hour the work done by a will be equal to one by four the work done by b and c together that is b plus c is equal to one by three and the work done by a and c together that's a plus c will be equal to they do it for two hours so one by two that is half of the work done now if we add these two terms together we will get a plus b plus c right and that is the amount of work done by all of these in one hour that's equal to one by four plus one by three and that is equals to seven by twelve when you solve it so we have the amount of work done by all of them and we have the amount of work done by a and c so if you subtract the amount of work done by a and c from the amount of work done by all of them you get the amount of work done by b right so b's work in one hour is equals to 7 by 12 that is the amount of work done by all of them minus the amount of work done by a and c minus 1 by 2 and that is equal to 1 by 12 so this is the work done by b in one hour so how much it will take for b to complete the work well you know the proportion so x is basically the reciprocal of this term 1 by 12 and that is 12 hours so b will take 12 hours to do the work alone